Welcome back. Time now for news from the left. A San Diego teacher shows us how to decolonize a classroom. We do not grade over here, okay? Anyone who takes my class automatically gets an A. They're told in the first week that they're going to get an A. The only thing that's required is attendance. And I have weeks of um, excused absences built in so that if people are sick or they have family obligations, it won't affect their grade. I also don't give homework. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Uh, and I run a discussion-style classroom. Luckily, she probably teaches a subject that doesn't matter, but these people simply just want to reverse all of the progress of the last few hundred years in this country and just go back to us all living in huts and digging in the dirt, obviously, because that's why they've completely removed merit in all capacity. Moving on, Disney's first animated film that includes an openly gay romance teenage, between teenagers, I should say, Strange World, uh, has flopped. It follows a family of explorers whose differences threaten their most crucial mission in dangerous territories. It is intentionally woke for no reason whatsoever. It has completely flopped at the box office. Five days and only pulled in 18 million bucks, uh, which is pitiful, less than four million a day. One of the worst openings for a Disney animated film to date. 19 million short of what was a pretty pitiful projected revenue, and they couldn't even get half of that. And finally, for the second year in a row, the Biden's Christmas display at the White House has left Hunter's love child out. Here are the stockings on the mantle. You have Hunter and his ex-wife's three kids, Naomi Finnegan, Maisie, Naomi's husband, Peter, the two kids of Bo Biden and his widow, Hallie, Hunter and Natalie, uh, who Hunter, uh, Big Hunter, actually had an affair with. One stocking with the name Baby on it in referencing Hunter's two-year-old son, Bo, with his second wife. And the last two are for the dog and the cat. So the dog and the cat get a stocking, but there is no stocking for Hunter's out-of-wedlock daughter named Navy, who Hunter had with a stripper named London Roberts. Yes, Navy doesn't get a stocking, but the cat does. Finally, tonight, some perspective. Don Lemon on Stephen Colbert last night. Colbert was panicking, saying he heard that CNN can't be rabidly liberal anymore. Here was Don Lemon's priceless response. I don't think we ever were liberal. What? Yes, I don't think we ever were that, liberal. Not By the nature of what we do, we have to hold people to account. And so that doesn't necessarily mean that we're going liberal or conservative or whatever. It just means that we are doing what we do, and that's good journalism. Oh, God bless you, Don Lemon. Well, just yesterday, Don Lemon attacked former Trump aide Len Kodakovsky, a Jewish man, son of Holocaust survivors, because Kodakovsky wouldn't condemn Donald Trump for having a meeting with Kanye West, who brought along a Holocaust denier who nobody had ever heard of, uh, to Mar-a-Lago. Lemon sat on national TV and obsessed over a pointless condemnation for nine minutes. Here's part of it. Do you condemn him for entertaining and meeting with anti-Semites? It's a very simple question. Well, I'm trying to give you an answer that uh, it's a yes I wish or you no. wouldn't have met with him. It's a yes or no. I, I didn't realize I was on a witness stand here, Don. Sir, we're talking about the former president meeting with an anti-Semite. How is this not about Trump? Even the girls were just... It was, it was nine minutes. That is an absolute eternity in television. He sat there asking the same thing to get this guy to just condemn Trump, who he probably still aligned with, who did, by, by the way, did incredible things for Israel. <laughs> Lemon couldn't care less. Don only cares when the offense happens on one side of the aisle, you see. Don loves Raphael Warnock, for instance, who's running for re-election in Georgia next week. It has now come to light that Warnock's church repeatedly hosted anti-Semitic black supremacist Professor Leonard Jeffries, who was fired from his job as a professor for his anti-Semitic and black supremacist teachings. Uh, he's also the uncle of Hakeem Jeffries, who's going to be the next Nancy Pelosi. Uh, nobody talks about any of that. Do you think Don Lemon will spend nine minutes on that this week? with an election in Georgia in seven days where he desperately wants Raphael Warnock to win? You think he's going to spend nine minutes or even ten seconds on that? He spent nine minutes grilling the son of Holocaust survivors who worked with Donald Trump to do some of the greatest things for Israel we've ever seen. Because Trump had Kanye to the White House, a guy he's known for a long time, and Kanye brought some crazy Holocaust denier. That's all the time we got. We'll see you tomorrow.